going to be using this Liquitex iridescent medium. So what this is, is it's like a gel medium that has um, pearl mica probably in it. And you can mix it with your acrylic paint in order to make a paint that is not pearlescent into a pearlescent paint. But we're going to, of course, because we always do with our polymer clay, use it in a totally different way. <laughs> so here we have a piece of um, translucent red clay that is not baked and we painted a thick coating onto the clay of the iridescent medium. And what I'm going to do is run it through my pasta machine and see if I can get it to crackle. We first let it dry really good. Yes, it's totally dry paint. So um, acrylic paint, if you didn't know, is basically um, pigment in a polymer medium and many acrylic paints are very compatible with polymer clay for that reason. Some of them aren't, but um, this Liquitex brand tends to be. So now that it's dry, I'm going to put it through my pasta machine at the thickest setting once, and then I'm going to progressively make the setting on my machine lower. And what I'm doing is pressing the paint into the clay and causing it to crackle on the surface. Okay, you can see it starting to go right there. It's starting to crackle. So let's take it down one more. Okay, and there we have the beginnings of a nice crackle. And now what I'm going to do, I, I put it through the pasta machine three times in this same direction. And now I'm going to go this way to see if I can get the crackle to spread. And there it is. I'll zoom in so you can see how that looks. Okay, so now what you have is a piece of clay that has the iridescent coating on it that's all crackled and you can do whatever you want. You can cut it up, you can use a cookie cutter on it, you can apply a piece of this onto another sheet of clay and make a design. The possibilities are endless, but it's really cool looking. Yeah, you can definitely take this and add it to a different color of paint. So you can mix it with paint and you can get an iridescent paint and do the same technique and get it to crackle. Yes. So you, so you don't have to leave it as is, you can mix it in with paint. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be white is what we're saying. Right. You can have it be any color. any color you want and just have it be contrasting with the color of clay that you use so that you can really see the crackle when it happens. So we hope you enjoy this technique. And again, that was the Liquitex Basics Iridescent Medium.